all right guys welcome back to some more project zomboid um so i actually found out that there's a very huge selection of mods on this and i didn't want to completely use mods but i did spawn a python just you know to kind of help me out and i did go in creative mode but i can still die i can still bleed out i can still need hunger thirst all of that um basically I'm still just, you know, spawning minimum stuff. Got a gun. The gun's not even that good because my skills aren't even up. So I'm literally still dying. Like this game, you can literally have hacks and mods and you could still get your ass beat. I'm just going house to house trying to find something. And it just seems like I'm getting overran like crazy. Doors are locked. Zombies are everywhere. This game's very cool, but it's very hard. You gotta upgrade your character like insane. I see this double, this very high fence. I'm like, oh, that's a school. So I'm sitting here like, dude, I could make this a base. I just gotta clear out all these zombies in the back, right? So I'm sitting here clearing out all these zombies. And I didn't know if they can hop that fence right there, but there's just, dude, there's so many zombies on this game. This game is fun, but it's so hard. My guy, he starts panicking at the top right. You can see there's like a little symbol of a face. That's my guy's in a panic mode. I'm, my guy's getting hungry. There's just so many zombies. And when you shoot a gun, more of them hear you. And it's just insane. So I'm like, well, first off, I got to clear this school. I got to try to make them from coming in here. I got to like find the, the entry point. The problem is there's so many broken windows outside the school. They can break through them. Like this door right here. I was like, how the heck does that lead me to the road? I was so confused. At this point, I'm like, well, I can't lock the door. I got to clear out these zombies. I can make this my base, but they're just coming from every angle. And I'm, I'm almost like screwed here. I almost I almost died here. It was actually bad. Like I even started with modded weapons and I'm still getting my butt kicked. It's kind of funny. This is probably top 10 hardest games I've ever played in my life. I'm not going to lie. Because I really... I haven't done a whole bunch of research on this game yet. I've just been so busy with work. I'm like, I'm going to play it again. We'll figure it out on the way. Yeah, no, I didn't figure it out on the way. <laughs> not not like I wanted to. So I'm like, maybe I should switch to a kitchen knife. Be a little quieter. Be a little more stealthy. But my guy, he's bleeding. I think I broke a bone. Every house is locked. Like, dude. And I'm still trying to figure out the E button. Because I keep jumping in and out of windows. Dude, the zombies, they just... They know. They know where I'm at at all times. It's, it's, it's just insane. Maybe I need to play this with some people. Kind of give me some guidance. Because by myself, I'm just a cool... I'm a lost puppy. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It's fun, but I don't know what I'm doing. Well, here, this is what I was talking about with the mod. Where I can put creative mode in. So I'm like... Well, I'm going to barricade myself in here. Maybe I'll be able to survive. Um, I'm going to clear out the back and I see a big gap. I'm like, okay, well, let's clear this out. Next thing you know, zombies just come out of nowhere. It's like, there's, there's, there's everywhere. And my guy's bleeding bad. I'm like, this is just great. Found a garage. Going to lock myself in there. Look for some supplies, maybe some bandages. I couldn't find nothing. So I'm like, I'm just going to cheat and heal myself, which, yeah, that's cheating. Yes, it is. But I'm going to die anyways because I don't know what I'm doing. But now... I'm just trying to figure out how to rotate stuff. I can't figure that out. I kind of did figure it out though, but it was after I recorded this video. I'm pretty sure there's a, uh, a button on the side. And as you can see, I totally got overrun there. And then I'm on the run again, trying to find a house that I can hide in like a little girl because I don't know what the hell to do. Windows are locked. Zombies are coming after me. Doors are locked. It's just... This game's fun, but is it? It's an absolute shit show. Trying to train the zombies here, trying to get inside. Just, it was a rough, rough time. There's only so many things you can do in this game. Like, well, I mean, I take that back. There's so many things you can do, but like, when you have minimal information on how to do those said things, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm very limited to what I. From what I know of, of my knowledge on this game, what to do, so. I'm gonna lock myself in the bedroom, clean myself up, bandage and stuff, looks for some more supplies. I got plenty of food. I did find another pistol, but 
Again, you can have all the guns in the world on this game. If your character's aiming isn't leveled up, it's worthless. And then you shoot a gun, more zombies are gonna come and find you. It's just a complete shit show. I'm gonna fill up my water bowl here. Maybe if there's later, I don't know if I even last. There's a lot of items in this game I've noticed that, I mean, every, like even a comic book, it brought up like boredom, I think, or something. I started hearing them, I didn't realize you could just delete anything. I was like, what the heck? But that's that being said, I gotta be careful because I can't jump out the two-story window and break a leg or something. At least I thought, I don't know. So I'm like, I'm gonna barricade myself in this bedroom until I can get my shit together. Because I've noticed no matter what you place, they can always break. Like I was playing this game by myself without recording and I had like a two layer tall fence. The more zombies there are, they're gonna break it down anyways. I thought this was kind of cool how you can actually like wash your clothes. But it was also terrifying because I can hear the zombies trying to break in and eat my face. So trying to do that as fast as I could. But this game really is cool. I'd definitely give it a shot if this is something that you're interested in. But you can sit here and take your time. You have a lot of time on your hands to do some homework. Definitely. The reason why I'm just jumping right into it is because work. Like, I get home late as hell. I'm tired. I'm not going to sit here for four hours and play this game. It's, it's just a game you got to really take your time and do your research on. And apparently there's a rest mode where that's what my guy's doing right now. I'm literally just resting my character. And I'm trying to figure out what to do in this situation because I barricaded myself in. And now I'm just deleting stuff because I was getting excited. <laughs> I was like, well, this is kind of cool. I can just delete random stuff in the room. That's cool. But it also was bad because I'm like, well, now I can't get out of here. Because if I delete the logs, there's going to be zombies to eat my face. So I got to somehow leave this room. Like, I've never played a game where I had cheats on and I still got my ass kicked. That's wild. And I did end up jumping out the window. I don't think I broke... I th it didn't say I broke a bone. My character was definitely messed up. But yeah, this is it. I didn't die. Just, I don't know. It's a fun game, though. I definitely would recommend playing it if I were you. So if this is something you guys want to play, if this is something you guys want to play, definitely play it. Do your homework and your research. And yeah, guys, hopefully next episode, I don't die. <laughs>